Welcome to this tutorial, and today we're going to be making an Im image manipulation that will be similar to this one that I made uh, earlier today. And, um, <coughs> you're going to have to take your own pictures, seeing as I don't have, um, I took my own pictures, and I'm not going to be able to provide the links for you, but you can try and find them on the web, or you can just take them, take them with the picture, or take them with your own camera. Alright, so we're going to open up our first stock. And um, it's just a picture of a bowl of full of milk and then some orange juice or something. And uh, we're gonna edit with GIMP this one. Okay. And now that that's open, we're gonna go edit, copy, edit, paste, and we can exit out of this. All right. Make this a new layer and scale it down check the chain if it isn't checked already and scale it down to about there and wait for it to scale okay and <coughs> we're gonna move me to right here except we're gonna scale me down a little bit more it's kinda awkward talking about myself <coughs> okay that's good Alright, and we're going to uh, zoom in, or actually first make a new layer above me. Zoom in. Use your free select tool. And draw a line sort of like that. Just a squiggly line. Just like it's a stain or something. And fill it in with black on the new layer. Select none. Put the layer mode on overlay and give it a Gaussian blur uh, about 19 and click OK alright so that's blurring alright that's good <coughs> and it just gives the illusion that it's um, that the war that the shirt is kinda wet alright so we're gonna open up our next render or stock and I already rendered these all out so um, that's why there with this awesome or they're transparent with the background so we're gonna go edit copy edit paste and we can exit out of this and make it a new layer and we're gonna scale it down about like that and press enter and I'll scale that down for you and we're gonna move me Actually, I think we're gonna flip me to make yeah that makes me fit way better into the image. And when you're taking the pictures, try and make take a picture of yourself looking kind of mad, because that's the illusion you're aiming for. You're about to get eaten by some dude, presumably you, which is a little scary. I just need to scale me down a little bit more. Okay, that's good. And I'll go right there. Alright, <coughs> and we'll open up our uh, final me. Edit with GIMP. Edit copy. Edit paste. And make that a new layer and scale me down some more like that press enter to confirm your uh, decision and uh, we'll move me uh... what we're gonna do is um... uh... we're gonna have to zoom in actually first of all zoom in on me and using the uh, free select tool, we're just going to select where the leg goes over the bowl, right here, and press delete or edit cut. And um, where this arm overlaps, press delete. 
just so that because it looks weird if it's going over the edge all right and uh now what we're gonna do is make a we can actually bring this layer to the top and we're gonna make a new layer above this and using the free select tool we're gonna make the same uh effect that we did before with the water and put the mode on add to the current selection and we're going to do it to the same thing to me right here alright and put the fill uh, bucket fill tool on fill whole selection and fill the whole selection and you can select none and put this layer mode on overlay and give it the same Gaussian blur blur Gaussian blur of 19 you can exit out of that alright <coughs> that's good and uh, now what we're gonna do is add the shadows so fit image to window and um alpha to selection uh this guy I keep on saying that it's me make a new layer below me fill me in with black select none put your move tool on move the active layer and move the shadow down to right there and zoom in about like that and we're gonna have to crop this otherwise it looks really weird delete select none filters blur gaussian blur just a 10. Click OK. OK, and turn the opacity to around 40. And, oh, I got exactly 40. Hmm, look at that. And actually, we should delete where the water, I mean, where the milk comes. Just like that, and delete that. OK, select none. OK, and we're going to do the same thing for this guy, right? me right here alpha to selection me make a new layer below it fill me in with black select none and um move me over like that and actually we don't need this part selected delete that the heck alright oh my god alright we're gonna make a new layer below me alpha to selection me uh, on the new layer fill it in with black select none um, move me over to bat like right there and then use your uh rectangular select tool on subtract from current selection press enter delete all this on the legs I can select none delete select none and uh, we can use the free select tool to select like that computer's being a little laggy. Press enter and then just delete that. Select none and then just give it a Gaussian blur. Fil filters blur. Gaussian blur. My computer is not happy right now. And click OK. OK and put the layer mode on around 40. Ooh, got it again. Alright, <coughs> and um, finally what we need to do is take me when I'm floating, duplicate me on this layer, put the opacity really low, and then just move me down 
and use the uh, eraser tool and then just erase that with a fuzzy brush using a fuzzy brush and just give me a bl Gaussian blur of 10 click OK view the image to window and we only need to add one more stock and we're done go edit copy edit paste can exit out of this make it a new layer and move it to wherever you think it fits the image I would think right there alright <coughs> and we can click flatten image and that is how you make your own uh, image manipulation in GIMP you're done thank you for watching this tutorial